What is going on guys? Mr. Tasty, I'm back. Decided to, uh, well, still good morning actually. It's a little bit before noon. I wanted to just hop in my truck and do a mobile review. I haven't done one of these in a while since my first video. And I decided to do research a small coffee house chain called Dutch Brothers. Now, if you haven't heard of Dutch Brothers, that's for good reason. They're primarily stationed in the west coast of the United States. I decided to do Dutch Brothers today simply because... I'm going to turn on the AC because this is just like... It's going to be like 100 today. I decided to do Dutch Brothers today because every single time I drive past this place, it's just packed. People have been telling me about, oh, it's such good coffee, you have to try it. So, I thought I'd put my... Uh, my little cell phone holder camera thing in my, oh shit, sorry. And I uh, almost ran somebody over. So Dutch Brothers is for me, conveniently placed, I wanna say, meh, five blocks away from my house, so that's good for me. It's really not safe making a video and drive at the same time, but my both my hands are on the wheel and I'm not holding the phone and you can hear me just fine, so that's, it's hands free, so don't worry. Just take some uh, dexterity. So I will be reviewing Dutch Brothers when I actually get the coffee and tell you a little bit about the company. I think that's a good plan. I don't wanna do it now and then have to wait in line. But normally when you go to Dutch Brothers, um, this coffee place, there's just cars out of the parking lot. It's a mobile coffee place. It's like, remember about the human being I did one? One of my first videos. Um, they have a small building and it's not really, you can't really go in there and sit down. You can just drive around the building and, and order. It's meant to be quick. It's meant to be like a, a drive through coffee place. It's like one of those places. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna get though. I think I'm just gonna get like a, uh, not a drip, like a like a cold brew. I don't wanna get any too, anything too frilly. It'll ruin the taste of the coffee. Okay, so here we are. It doesn't look that busy but we will find out. Okay, so it's one of those places too because I'm staring right at the building right now. You can actually go to the window and order. That's pretty cool. This is definitely a happening spot for teenagers. <laughs> Remember Starbucks always like, attracted like late night teenagers that would just kind of do their own thing. But there is a huge line, so I don't know how long I can talk for. See, there's really no place, there's really no place to, to, to park. I wasn't quite sure if you were waving at me. I thought, I thought we were like doing it. I thought you were doing this and I was doing this. Uh, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> what are you getting, man? Uh, can I get two cold brews? Yeah. Awesome. Anything else for you? I think that'll do it. Are doing card or cash? Uh, card. Card? Okay, I got you here. Actually, you know what? I got cash. Cash? Okay, yeah, good cash. I'll set that to the window. We'll take care of you, okay? Great. Right. Thank Have you so much. Day. All right. Super friendly. Super friendly. They got a guy outside taking orders on like a little little menu. Super nice people. They got music playing. It's a really hit place. I like it so far. Oh, I'm staring at the menu right now. They got freezes. They got smoothies. They got Dutch soda. They got, I want to say cold brews. I got the cold brew just because I wanted to try it. I like cold brew. Plus it's like gonna be a hundred something outside today, so I'm like, ah, get something refreshing, please, for the love of God. They got cocoa, mocha, oh, they got a breve. Blended drinks, teas. Ooh, what's up? How's it going, my friend? Pretty good, really good. Uh, we had that two for you, right? Uh, so what are you going on today? <laughs> Drinking these things, it's <laughs> just chores, basically. Okay. Housework. All right, we'll do 1050 for you. Do you have a stamp card, man? I don't. Do you want one? This is my first time here. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get you one. Awesome, man, thanks. The music, awesome. I'm sure you can hear it. Alright, uh, 450 back for you. Oh, my God. Come on back real soon. <laughs> thanks, man. 
Sorry. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, take care. Right. Until next, dude. You guys have a good one. Wow. This is what it looks like. I gotta get out of this parking lot before I crash. So cold brew by itself is just iced coffee, but I think it's aged a little bit. I don't know if that's a word. I don't know if my... My coffee, uh, coffee knowledge is up to par. I'm at a light right now, so I'll show you it. It's pretty good. I just said I wanted a, two cold brews. I got one for, I'm gonna drop one off for my dad. Uh, I don't know if it's only one size. It is tasty, it is tasty. It doesn't have anything in it, it's just iced coffee. So I'm probably gonna just gonna add some, maybe some, uh, some cream and sugar when I get home to do this. So I pulled up to the window and there's like, I want to say seven people in the actual place having a good time. Ugh. Doing their thing. It seems like a happening spot. Coffee's good, good atmosphere. Equals successful business. So, so, so far, I mean, I can't say anything bad about Dutch Brothers. They seem to be uh, a pretty good company. Um, good atmosphere, good coffee. The only downside I can probably get them on is just the wait, the line. That's not their fault. They can't really do anything about it. But uh, they, they are quick. I mean, I was in line for five minutes tops and there were two lines. One's going to the left side of the building and one is going to the right side of the building. And I was just, I was behind, I wanna say three, four other cars and they got me in and out, so it's no big deal. So a little bit about Dutch Brothers that I like that um, maybe a lot of people haven't realized is uh, Dutch Brothers is a, uh, I think I've said that before, uh, primarily based in the west coast of the United States. I stopped my car so I can talk now. And um, the first cut started, I believe, not too long ago in 1992 by two brothers named Dane and Travis Burzma. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. They got their start in Grants Pass, Oregon, working at a golf course, um, D uh, Dutcher Golf Course, that's hence the name Dutch Brothers, um, doing the exact same thing, uh, selling coffee, like this and uh and yeah it, that's how that's, that's how they got started i think then they um bought an espresso machine and then kind of experimented with their own coffee and started giving it away to their friends and family getting feedback and then eventually buying a push cart and selling coffee that way and then i think they you know went ahead and pressed the button and got a brick and mortar location and started selling coffee and next thing you know the rest is history it's a successful company more importantly um, is not just the, the awesome coffee, the products that they have there. You know, they got a bunch of stuff. It's, I, I mean, I really didn't do them a good service because I just saw the, the menu outside and decided to read it off pretty quickly. Um, but uh, they have a lot more. You go on their website, you can check it out. They also have a secret menu, just like a lot of other places out there, you know, like in and out a bunch of other places that have like secret menus you can order. Uh, secret stuff. Uh, the reason why I didn't is because I just wanted to get their basic cold brew coffee and test it out. Um, basic foundation of coffee. Just to see how uh, how well it is. I'm going to be adding some sugar and cream to it just to liven it up a little bit. But that's just kind of how I like my coffee. Anyways, enough about that. Um, yeah, and also about Dutch Brothers, they have a lot of uh, community outreach. It's really cool. They recently did an interview with Travis Burzma, the younger brother, about um, franchising. It is a franchise. Um, and he said that Dutch Brothers could have opened hundreds of thousands of lo locations throughout the United States. The reason why they don't do that is because franchises are only available to existing franchisees and workers of the company. I think that's kind of cool because he doesn't really want to go into business with people that don't understand the business. That's a smart man. Um, and the reason why that is is because, you know, you could be, 
it's not about the money for certain corporations. It's not about that. It's about going into business with people who understand the business. And that's another thing I like about Dutch Brothers is because you can kind of count on leadership. You can kind of count on people's, you know, frame of mind when they have a product and put their name on it. You know, that's what I like about businesses, especially small ones. Okay. I have something written down here because I didn't have enough time to memorize it. In addition, in addition, um, they do a, a lot of donating to proceeds, a muscular dystrophy association. Um, I think the, uh, the older brother, um, passed away, um, from Lou Gehrig's disease. So they do a lot of, uh, MDA research and donations. They do a lot of regional, regional nonprofits, um, uh, hurricane Harvey relief, uh, specific causes, uh, around the community in which the buildings are actually placed in. Um, um, breast cancer awareness. I'm looking down at the piece of paper here. Um, local food banks, American Red Cross Association, Society, uh, MDA, uh, the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, and uh, each Valentine's Day, they partner with local food banks. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so all in all, um, I recommend Dutch Brothers. The, it's like a happening spot. You got to go there. Good business, good coffee, good atmosphere, good people. I can't say enough good things about it. And the guy that gave me um, buy 10 drinks, get the 11th free, stamped my entire card. <laughs> no joke. He's like, tuk, 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 tuk. come back anytime. I will. I will come back. Thank you, Dutch Brothers, for this amazing coffee. And this is Mr. Tasty. I will see you guys hopefully next week. Peace.